Hey guys, what's up? Sneeko, and I got some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay here for you. Using the CM901 with the Red Dot Silencer. Not one of my favorite guns, but hey, might as well use it. Using Slate of Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and Marksman. Playing on the map Outpost, as you can tell now. The reason I'm using um, Marksman is because on an assault rifle, you generally tend to aim down your sights most of the time. So use Marksman just to get that extra little wall hack, if you want to call it that. And it helps out a ton, especially on Outpost with the long lines of sight that the games never finish. And guys, I really don't like this map at all. But yeah, so I'm going to talk about the gameplay because there's a lot of tips in this one, especially on this map. Because this map is so hard to play, for me at least, that I, I just don't like playing it. So I'm pretty much used to using a nice little assault rifle, something accurate or not in this case because CM901 has pretty bad recoil. And it has a slow rate of fire, which I do not understand. However, the bullets that do hit do a ton of damage. I don't know the exact terms or spec. Look at that. Look at that. Look, that's what I'm talking about, ammo. But I don't know the exact uh, specifications of uh, how many damage each bullet does. But I'm going to give you my rating, which it does a lot. So, yeah. And here, let's talk about the first tip. You always want to come in through here because this it provides you with cover up everywhere. So the barrels, not the barrels, the boxes I was behind before, you can look through and there's a nice little line of sight that you can watch the door through. And as they come in, you lay down in there. Here I take this guy's precision airstrike. Here, I was hoping it wasn't a trap, and thank God it wasn't, and I get the 100 points for the hijacking. But yeah, so I'm running specialist because I love using specialist. I don't, and it's okay using assault. It doesn't make for the best gameplays. It's typically boring, and yeah, so here's my other tip. Lay down when you shoot, especially with a gun that has a ton of recoil. And look at that. I could have kept going, but I climbed up the ladder on accident. But with a gun that has a ton of recoil, such as the CM901, the um, RSASS, if you stand up and shoot, the Barrette, if you lay down, it reduces the recoil a lot. The RSASS, when you shoot it while laying down, it has no recoil. The Barrett has little to no recoil. And with this gun, it reduces the recoil completely, and you can get your shots on, and shots on are good most of the time anyway. Unless you're in hardcore ricochet and you shoot your teammate, which I've done that before, and that guy's a genius for using that spot. That is one of the tips with Team Art spots, and I'm going to give him props for that. Here I tried to take him out with the G36, but I couldn't find him after that, so uh, congrats to you. I don't know who you are, but congrats for using that spot. Now, see, you hear me lay down a lot, and then in this warehouse, it's pretty high action, uh, high action, high traffic point on the map. And the reason I say that is because there's two major spawns in front of me. There's one to my left now, and there's one straight ahead of me. And there I got lucky. Then I get EMP grenaded, and I was trying to find that guy again. But yeah, so there's a, there's a major spawn here, and you just want to watch that. And I don't know how that guy killed me, but you always want to watch that, so you lay down. Well, you don't have to lay down, but again... High recoil, recoil gun you lay down reduces the recoil. And as you do that, <clears throat> as you do that, it'll work out a lot more, a lot a lot better. And you can get those high kills, you can get the mob, you can get your specialist bonus, and so on and so forth. Now, I forgot to mention that this isn't the most uh, amazing game that you will ever see. It's not spectacular. I was just looking for a gameplay with a CM901, and this is what I managed to pull off my hard drive. So, yeah, this is pretty much like the leftovers. This is what you get after you eat this amazing dinner. And then you have it for lunch the next day and you're just like, ew. Because nothing tastes good when it's microwave. Come on, guys, let's be honest. But anyway, enough about the random tangents. Get back to the tips. And to my left, there's also a major spawn point. And I think I do get, the, not the mob, not at all, a triple kill on this. I'm not absolutely sure. But don't quote me on that at all. And there you see me pick up specialist perks. And that's another thing I want to talk about. Specialist. Specialist is the most, in my opinion at least, is the most, um, what's it called? Is the most helpful set of kill streaks or whatever they're called. My normal fair wants to call them. <laughs> and I could have killed him, I swear. If I did, that would have been great. But whatever you want to, point streaks, strike packages, whatever you want to call it. Specialist is the most helpful, especially when you're going for MOAB. Because you need those extra perks, you need sleight of hand, you need your scavenger. Sleight of hand gets you out of those fast, um, gets you out of those high, high traffic areas. You can pull out the FMG nines, the scorpions, anything really, MP412 pistols, and you pull them out and you just light your way out of there. 
that's that's the benefit of using sleight of hand now scavenger obviously gives you the ammo which is always helpful then you have marathon or extreme conditioning you run for a while and that helps you getting out of gunfights that you can't win what else what other first tier perk is there blind eye always helpful you never want to get your uh, streak ruined by a uh, little blimp flying in the sky that i like to call the attack helicopter <laughs> i haven't called it that in a while guys hopefully i have some more cod 4 gameplay later this week i'm not really sure now i pick up that nice little gold camo m4 a1 i love that i, lo I used to have it gold and i prestige yeah it's like, kind of like those arrow to the knee arrow to the knee jokes and jake you know what i'm talking about now, most of you guys, like, probably caught on, oh, who's Jake, who's Jake? Well, he's on my soccer team, so, yeah, and he watches, so, yeah, that's pretty much, I'm just saying hi to him, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. And more tips, here, this is a major spawn point straight ahead of me, as long as you and all your teammates stay behind that barrel, which they eventually don't, they will spawn there, so that's why you see me take cover back there. Another helpful hint, go on top of there, look over through that window to my left right about now, and you look down and you can see inside the factory, which is a killer spot, especially in game battles. And that leads me into my next topic. I will be doing a game battle series as soon as I figure out how to get live com without going back into theater mode. And Oh, actually, yeah, I could do that. All right. All right, so I figured out how to do that already. So once I get a partner that is pretty good and once I get a ton better because game battles is no joke, guys. And there we go. Same guy in that spot i'm going to give him props for using it it is a great spot hard spot to um see from as you can see as you can tell and yeah but anyway back to the game battles thing as soon as i get a good game battles partner i'll post doubles maybe even a team thing and yeah and that's the story of that do some live comms have a lot of fun and yeah so game battles isn't no joke at all i tried it in black ops and i was terrible at it I think I won one out of like 10 games in the winter ladder, so I kind of gave up on there. But you know what? Might as well do it just for fun, just for the lulls. And yeah. Lastly, no, this isn't a tip. It's just like when you have a PVR, you have to play in component, and it's just hard to make colors. And I have one gameplay that I may or may not post quick scoping only or quick scope sniping gameplay. And it turns out the colors distorted, and it's hard to see guys, so that's why I stopped. Uh, recording like while playing doing the live recording session I guess and yeah I was about to rage quit there but I saw the score and yeah guys so again not the most spectacular gameplay but hey CM901 not my favorite gun I'm uh, not my favorite map so anyway guys this wraps up this gameplay see you in the next one peace and I'm running out of time bye final score